Right, so hello and welcome to another Pillar Talk with Adam. And that's Kerry, right there, if you didn't already know. <laughs> Kerry's just Sorry. Googling something, she's just doing a bit of research. First of all, we need to start this by saying Happy Spring Equinox. Yes. It's the Spring Equinox now, happy isn't it? Spring Equinox. We've just got back from Wales a couple of days ago. We had a fantastic yeah. trip in Wales, didn't we? We have. Fantastic trip, it's just... That relaxation, like zen. Look at me, look at the screen. Look, that's well, how you it, do look very relaxed, I look, actually. I look zen. We, we're going to book another one because we like the zenness of it. Just, yeah, it's there's plenty of videos coming, so check out the videos of Wales coming soon. It's worth doing, though. It's so nice. Yeah, we're going to book another well, one. So I think we're going to go. Yeah, I think we're going to go book one for Cornwall in a yeah, couple of months' like time, innit? Like a little getaway, like a, a hideaway. Get away, just relaxing. We want to get one, don't we? Yeah, we had, we had like a little hot tub. We just had. Just the valleys of Wales, which mm. was stunning, weren't it? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Beautiful, but beautiful. I have got a confession to add. Oh. In the words of Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl? I've got another confession, my friend. I, love, I like Dave. Yeah, everyone likes Dave. Yeah, I like Dave, yeah. Right, so... No, I like him, like him, Dave. Oh, here we Here's go. Like, there's another one to the list. I'll just I'll go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the confession is, when we was um, in Wales, you'll see these videos, they'll be on the channel... Um, I bought Kerry her first ever camera that I, I said to you I think your dad would be proud of me yeah. she's got her first ever like real camera not a phone camera a real camera however some of the videos this is the confession some of the videos because we, this camera was new to us Kerry obviously knows nothing about it I know nothing about it so you have to learn cameras you have to get into the settings you have to learn them it takes months to learn a camera, I've had this yeah, camera. Yeah, people obviously know this. Get to the point. Yeah, I've had this camera years, but I'm telling you, cameras take a time to get used to. Of course they do. The confession is, it did have a beauty filter on. So if some of our videos look like they've got a beauty filter on, that's because we had the camera set to beauty filter, but we didn't well, know. Well, I it's don't turned know. Off do now. I? This is not the camera, but it's turned off now. But some of the cam, some of the footage, if it looks like there's a beauty filter on, the beauty filter was on. But now I know how to turn that off, and it's off now. So oh, you've, you haven't even shown me how to do it. That's you have the, to show me ten confession. times. Remember, you need to learn that camera. You need to make that camera be your baby. Yeah, but you have to train and learn me. It. You'll have yes. to train me. We've got some fun videos coming from Wales now. If they ain't already gone up, we've done a camera oh, competition, so haven't we? Yeah. We've done a Picture camera competition. competition. Yeah, photograph competition. We've done a few things like that. That's going to be fun today. We ain't stopped, have we? We've been no. out with Luke all day. We've been to Kent. There'll be a video of this as well. Kent Life we went to, didn't we? Yeah. Kent, Kent Life. Life. Um, just it's show so Lucas some animals. He's got and his love for animals, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's got that love really for shone animals. really straight away, didn't it, with Luca? Yeah. And when we've got his got love a, of animals, which We is... have got a couple of weeks off together, so we're just doing, trying to do stuff yeah. every day. And we? We've also yeah. just signed up to English, English Heritage. Heritage. Yeah, we've signed up to English Heritage. So it's about £10 a month for both of us. Um, and you can go to all these places. Like, I think weekend we might go Dover Castle. You can get to Rochester Castle. You can get into all these places. There's about 400 places. We've signed up to that. So we're going to get round to some English heritage sites, Yes, we? yeah. Yes, yes. We've Love a, a bit of history. We've had a busy week. It's been a busy week, hasn't it? It's been very busy, yeah. Busy week, but enjoyable. Yeah. It's nice having... It's nice just having that... pottering in the garden, didn't we? Yeah, we've got some, oh, again, got videos some of shoots that. shoots are coming up Videos nicely, of that coming soon. greenhouse. We've got some videos we're going to do, garden sort of videos. Um, we've, had our, we've had our first we've barbecue of the year, haven't we? Yeah. We had a burger on the barbecue. Again, that's going to be on a video. So there's a lot of stuff that we've filmed, haven't we? We've yeah. filmed a lot of stuff, haven't we? Feels like we've filmed a lot. Yeah. Anyway, what are we drinking tonight then, boy? We are drinking to the Spring Equinox. Right, so I'm going to pour another drink. So what have we got tonight? We have got... Oh, that's crispy. Yes, crispy. Ooh. Sauvignon Blanc. We got this. We got this in a mill deal from Tesco's months ago. I don't just... think it's going to be the best. You've had half. Look, Tesco's finest. It's not bad. I've had one glass. Your glass is still. But you had a you had a mojito. I earlier, had didn't no. You? I had a margarita. Margarita earlier. Oh, cheers. Cheers. You just looked me in the Skull. eye. Skull. Skull. I look you in the eye. <laughs> I'm always looking her in the eye. <laughs> he is. <laughs> always, he's always got his beady eye. I always got my beady eyes. Yeah, you have. So I'm under a fucking perimenopausal, innit? Yes. My God. Yes, so... Oh, Jesus. How do you want to get into this part of it? What, am I, um... Just about had it up to here with symptoms and yes. just had to just go So, and, ladies, listen to this. Just go and... Just go and get the HRT. And I went and got it today. So, Kevin's been, um... 
She's probably been menopausal now for... Yeah, you, you would know this. Yeah, what do you reckon, a year, over a year? No, it's more than that. No, what? go right back. Do you reckon two go years, Go right maybe? back. It's even longer. Reckon, even longer. What, three years? It's been, been about five years. So she reckons she's been pre-menopausal. Do you remember when I was having all their troubles with the, the women's... Yes, yes. Well, time of the month and all that. Well, if you that. think 50% of the population are women, that they're experiencing this. And if you get to our sort of age range, you're experiencing this maybe yourself. So probably what... So oh, I don't think I can drink this, sorry. So what do you reckon? Drink it, you'll be fine. So what do you reckon for about five years you've been... What are the symptoms of these premenopausal symptoms you've been right, having? Well, my symptoms have been... So like, your periods have stopped for over about two years probably, haven't they? What, now? What did yeah. I say to you earlier on? Look, don't listen to him because he's trying to get involved and he don't right, even right, know the right, half right, of it. Right, right, then you explain. You know, I've had to fucking bite my tongue so much with you. She's been so good, though, with it. Really good. Yeah, just let the past... Four weeks, I would say, yes. because I had all that bloody anxiety, because we had like twenty twenty two was just like the worst year for us, weren't it? Literally yes. the worst. Yeah, twenty twenty two was was, was horrible. Just, yeah, we. You know, we're, well, I think we're gonna have a video explaining all the twenty twenty two video yeah, we, coming soon. Because it's quite, you know. So that was like a life changing year, weren't yeah. it? Yeah, basically, you know, as I, as you probably know, I lost my mum in twenty twenty two, and it's just gone downhill from there. Yeah. Apart from having Luca come along. Your, anxi my mum your died, anxiety levels are like here, aren't they? Yeah. Your anxiety levels are like there. Yes. So my mum died in in April, 10th of April, and Luca was born on the 16th. So I had the death of, of April, my mum. Six then days support, later. My daughter was 19 at the time to, like, through the pregnancy. And that wasn't an easy one because he, no, um, he had a jaundice. He had a lot of jaundice. That was yeah. Back and forward it to the hospital. It was tiny. Yeah, well, there's a, a whole story about it. Anyway, she got Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, 28 weeks into her pregnancy, we found yes. out that she had Hodgkin lymphoma. Which is cancer. Yeah. But and we're going to do a video explaining this. Yeah, more. we'll do their little story because it's, it's just so It's cute. a really it's good a, story, yeah. It's, a really it's good just story. a really lovely... I mean, you've obviously seen Luca and that. Yeah. But yeah, you, you'll get that story. We've been through quite a bit, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, so you had literally... Your mum died six days later... Luke was and, and when her mum died, we was both there. We was both yeah. there. That was that was that experience was. Mm -hmm. an so experience, that's why, yeah. So it? that's why I had the, the therapy for the PTSD. And then you had therapy, yes, you had. Because yes. I was having like flashbacks. Yes, she was. Like really, really bad. Like anxiety, oh my God, it was just awful, wasn't it? It really was. Your, really, your anxiety, really yeah. Awful. And I was getting anxiety because Larissa's cancer. It was giving me anxiety yeah. at work. I was having panic attacks. Yeah, it was just like. It just kept coming for us, didn't it? Yeah. All this, oh, just horrible things. It was happening. like it was like constant, weren't it? Yeah. Um, but we had to. You had to pull yourself through it for Luca, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I did because and she Larissa. needed me, didn't she? Larissa and Luca, because she couldn't start the cancer treatment till Luca was born. Oh, yeah. So, so, so literally, Kerry's mum died on the tenth, say. It's the tenth, weren't it? Yeah. And then on the sixteenth, Luca was born. Luca was born. And then literally straight away, the cancer treatment started, and we was back and forward. Yeah. To the, so I didn't even have to time to sort of grieve. Losing yeah, my so it was back and forth to the Marsden because we were so worried about Larissa. Yeah. Back and forth looking after the baby. Yeah, I didn't back have time forth, to back and forward with the grieve, cancer. did I? I didn't have time to grieve. Yeah, she had all the chemotherapy. You know, the time I'm, you know, you've got to try and keep yourself together, haven't you? For, so we probably did neglect ourselves a bit, didn't we? Oh, we was in state, and, weren't we? We was literally yeah. sitting on the sofa downstairs, which is one floor down, sitting on the sofa of a night, just sitting there sobbing, yeah, weren't we? Yeah, We was just sitting there sobbing. Yeah, it was just like... It's just like another death. Yeah, overwhelming. It was just overwhelming. We just like just sat around for days, didn't we? It's just yeah. You know, your child has just been diagnosed with cancer and she's twenty eight weeks. Pregnant. We will explain all this in a in a future video. Yeah. That we want we want to because it might help other people. That's why we mm. want to do it, isn't it? Yeah. So you've reckon it's yeah, almost so started. From I reckon then. the stress of all of that really, really, really triggered it because before that I was having irregular periods. I had a fibroid. You know, there were like really heavy periods I was having. Yeah, because you've got, just um, awful, cause you've got, got what, overactive or under? I had an overactive thyroid as well. Yes. Um, that's all sorted out now. All, that, all those levels are normal because he told me today. GP, okay, that's good. That's all good, yeah. Because I go a bit, bit loopy, don't you know, I? Loopy, when I when, that's yeah. the thyroid causing you to go loopy, yeah. won't it? But this that's has been few, on another level, ago. hasn't it? This kind of loneliness. Yeah, you've had a few crazy days. She's been. Oh, what like, I will say now with this. Postmenopause, what's it called? Post perimenopause. Perimenopause. You've been really good. She's with me as well, personally. You've been really no, good. No, you haven't. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't. You've had your day, but you've you have been really good for me, with me. 
ring like rip my head off or anything. We've had a well, few no, little... because you're my you're my comfort blanket, aren't you? Okay, you know yeah. that. You know I can. I didn't want him out of my sight, literally. Yeah. You know he was. He had to be right. Because like that's me good. Because that's time. like a female body is so complex. A male's body is not that complex. Yeah. A female body is so complex. There's so much to it going on, isn't there? Mm. Definitely, it's, it's a different level to a male's you body. You know, and you've always been like really relaxed around stuff like periods. You and, have to. You have to. That's you life. Know, you can't you, not. You can't shy away from it. Yeah. You see me deliver two babies. You yeah. Know? You can't. And you, that weren't glamorous. You can't. You can't shy away from it. This is just like natural stuff that happens. Yeah. But your periods for the last couple of years, they, you haven't really had any, have you? No, it was all like been on and off. And then when they did come, it was literally like floodgates. Were loved. It was just awful. Yeah, yeah. And, so, you know, it was just like, oh, God, what's, what's wrong with me? I think yeah. I'm my mum would be like, oh, you're going through the change. and Yeah. Just like, well, I don't feel like I am, sort of thing, do you? And then, obviously, when trauma hits you, it's... Um, we just had to put two years of our life on hold, yeah, really, didn't we? Yeah, we did. This is why we, had, we were going to yeah. start getting the garden done again. and Yeah, that's why two years have just literally been on hold. Yeah. Um, but we've pulled through it. We've pulled through it very strong as a family, yeah. haven't we? We've and come, every, she's we've been come healthy now. She's been in remission for, yeah. will be two years Probably this year. two years, yeah. yeah. She's been in, in remission July. this year, in July. Two years, um, cancer-free. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, oh, my, oh, my God, yeah. Anyway... So, so I thought, right, your, your symptoms, and then my symptoms were just like, and then I was. But you've put all this on doctors. hold. This is the yeah, thing. Yeah, this you've put I've it on left, all left on it, left it, and that's what I do because I make sure everyone else is okay first. Of course you do. Yeah, so that's why. But now we're at the, you know, I've I've gone in and I've done something actually for myself today, so. So that's good. So so, you, so, getting, so what you so had to do, so, like, so let's all... let's explain to you. So yeah, you went to the doctors. You first of all, you need to yeah, do. Yeah, first a, of all, you needed a. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now you're jumping the gun. So what happened then, I was having like really, really bad anxiety attacks, like literally, you know, and that horrible thing in your stomach just doesn't go away and it's just like, you dread everything, you're like yeah. useless to everything and it's just like so like soul destroying, isn't it, and demoralising, yeah. feel like that, Anxiety is horrible, I've had anxiety, oh, it's horrible. God. Oh my god! I mean, I'd be, you know, I'd worry about things, but I wouldn't be like mm. like I was, and it was literally make sure the door's locked. I was con yeah. I was obsessed with this Constantly, door, yeah. and only even now I'd say, won't I? Is it? Are we locked up? Yeah. Because I've got a thing about bloody, I don't know. Just got, it's just yeah. like I was just really, really overreacting about things as well, weren't I? And yeah. Being like really snapping, just the mood swings were just off the scale, literally. And, you know, everyone was feeling it. It affects all your relationships, doesn't it? Not ours, no, I wouldn't say. No, it, it, it did to a certain extent. I don't think it so. It did. No, it did. No, you can't because you you can't look at me in a bad way. You know no, you can't. No, I don't see anything bad with you her. Don't. That's what it is. Yeah, this is why you you say oh, I've been good. I haven't. Well, if she said I, I, I still don't see any. I really haven't. I still didn't see any badness. See? I don't see no badness in you, that's why. No, you don't. So you decided to contact a doctor. Yeah, I, I decided to um I thought well, I can't leave it anymore. I need to, I need help. And I was breaking down at work, and, yeah. and they said me home, didn't they? Yeah, I was having, yeah. you know, it was just. I mean, I work with end of life, and it's like you've got to be on like your top, top game, sort of, yeah. haven't you? You've got to be, you've got, you've got to be alert. Especially you've got for to be... COVID, it was COVID as well, oh, weren't there? Yeah, it was COVID as well. So that COVID kind of every, and... that's put everyone's life two years back. Yeah. Is it? Anyway, we've all lost two mm. years through that. Yeah. So then you contacted the doctor, and it put me on antidepressants. Yeah, put on antidepressants. This therapy thing. The therapy was really good. Yeah, the therapist was she really good. She did it good, like yeah. on Zoom thing because yeah. everything's thing. Well, so done right, Zoom. If they can get away with Zoom now, they do. Yeah, so you did it on Zoom, but you quite enjoyed. You you was very anxious with that, no, because yeah. you kept saying we're moving up to like your yeah, mum's party. Yeah, no, we need to talk about it, and I'll you know I put that off and put that off, and in the end, she just didn't let me get away with it. Yeah. And, then, and as soon as I got over that hurdle, I started to feel like you know. You know, I was having anti um, antidepressants. Antidepressants, yeah. We started antidepressants. Well. So I started all them, and I started to feel a little bit better. You know, the anxiety would was you setting down. You perked right up. You, on yeah. Antidepressants, yeah, you and now right they've up. started to lose their effect. Yeah, but but what she did do, no, she was a little bit naughty. She just completely come off the antidepressants. So he was on her mother a couple of months. She just thought, oh, I don't, yeah, I thought, I don't no, want all these pills anymore. I don't want to go and get me HRT. You come, you come off them and you was literally for a couple of... Because I'm, yeah, I'm then convinced all this anxiety has been down to this 
yeah. menopausal thing because then it you heightens was, everything and it just was, fucks with your head. Yeah, when you just completely quit the antidepressants for a couple of days, you was an arsehole. Yeah, I just went there. cold turkey, didn't I? Yeah, you went cold turkey and his antidepressants. I just went I ain't having him no I went more. absolute loop with everybody. I was arguing with everyone. Yeah, you went for a couple of days. Still didn't argue with me, I don't think. But for a couple of days. No, but you told me I was just like, you've gone too far. Yeah, yes, yes. You've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a few times you went too far with with little little arguments, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so you contacted the doctor, and you had to have so you first so. So I had to go and have blood pressure done. Blood pressure. And it takes a week. Then, yeah. then to get the appointment, then the next appointment. Oh. And then the next appointment, then you need blood tests mm. for this for the menopause blood test, and then today you went back to the doctor. Yeah, I had the appointment already booked in for today. Yeah. Um, to start. Well, to talk about. And I see it's early today. We got it was meant to be at yeah, three o'clock. Let's see it's at quarter to three or ten to three. It was just like straight through, wasn't it? And you said you didn't want That's the patch. That's why I'm thinking this is a good. Yeah, I know I did, didn't I? Yeah, she didn't want the but patch because she wants. You want, you want to give this HRT a go? Yes, don't you? I do. So, so that's what I'm doing. So you didn't want to, you wanted to gel. Yeah, because I'd heard everyone say, "Oh, gel is really good," but I'm going to listen to my GP, and he was very good. And very he, understanding that's good that's good yeah he would like any questions i had he was on he would answer them and he would like actually listen to me did my blood pressure again took my weight yeah uh, your weight's he, uh, weight's very good by the way well you know a little nip and a tuck here <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it was like it will be at boots in half an hour so yeah, but we did have issues with boots. We went to boots to collect this. Um, and she had to get the pharmacist. Uh, patches on. and had to get the pharmacist, but the pharmacist was on break. Who but has, no one's actually who like has gone a break at four o'clock. The pharmacist had a break at four o'clock. Who has a break at four o'clock? Um, the doctor but, explained it anyway. Yeah, the doctor explained yeah. what it was and what was the best options. There and, is pros and cons, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, pros and cons to it, but the 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 pros outweigh the cons. Yes, you was yes. But I think for the first few days, you're not meant to be... The first few days, we looked at some of it. In the first few days of having a patch, you can get headaches, a bit of nausea. Yeah, he said you might have a little, like, um, bleed. Oh, yeah, a little spotting and stuff. Yeah. Didn't he? He, said, he said that to you. Yeah. But then it's when it settles down and your body accepts it, it's um, it's on. But a, a tip with a patch, because we, 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 we read all this stuff, a tip with a patch... You can't have your patch on your arm or nothing, not like a cigarette Yeah, because patch. I wasn't told any of this. No, the patch, like she wasn't it told needs to go right. below the waist. You need to go below, waist. below the waist. So like on your hip, because on your buttock. Because breast cancer, obviously. Yeah, you need to put it on your hip or buttock. I suppose you can put it on your leg, anywhere on your leg, I suppose. Mm. Hip, thigh, buttock. And it's like see-through as well. So. Yeah, it's a little clear patch, but the, the patch, if you want it, if you're interested. And I've had a shower as well and it's still there. Yeah, the patch stays on for like three or four days. You, you, you have two patches. Twice a week. You have Twice two a patches a week. So a week's obviously seven days. So you have to yeah. decide it's three or four days. So you have mm. you have two patches a week, don't you? And you've got yeah. a month supply and just see how yes. it goes, isn't you? So we're gonna try it for a month and any, then it, like now you've got the patch. Any like because I know we have, we've had them cigarette patches before. They like itch and scratch. Yeah, leave you with like any, really. Re this might give a bed. You know, remember yeah, when Lewis was having them injections? Yeah, but them like cigarette ones used to like make it itch. Yeah, but do with. you remember when Lewis was having them injections to preserve her fertility when she oh, was when having she cancer, when she was yes. having her chemo? That that red patch that they used to give her the injections. Yes, the shots, yes. That stayed for ages. And it was like massive. Is patch, it gone down? Is it? it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, she had these um, things to preserve her ovaries and ovaries you know, and stuff. You know, for having um, future more kids. future children. Yeah. 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 So you you might get a mark from the patch, but I'm sure it'll soon go. So I'm going to give it a go, guys. And yeah, I'll report to. back in. Yeah, I think that's good. I think it's for other women watching, like the same sort of age bracket or, or similar. Because I'd undeniable about it. Everyone was like, oh no, don't go on HRT. Yeah. Oh, like, you like, you don't have to go on HRT if you don't want to. Because my mum didn't. I don't no, think my your, your mum didn't. Mum my mum did it with Menopace. Okay. I don't, I don't know about my mum. I know she said she never would. My mum's complete nutty. My mum's a lunatic. Yeah, your anyway. mum's. Yeah, so my mum don't care. She's can. a loony bin at the moment. Yeah, she's. My mum's, my mum's literally. Whoosh, Nicest person you'll ever meet, but she's a complete yeah, nutter. She's lovely. Yeah, she's lovely. She is. <laughs> My a complete nutter. Mm. Um, yeah, so because this channel, we want to do like open talking and life stuff. That's why you want to wanted to talk yeah, about it, don't you? Yeah. If you have one one other person sees this and think, you know what, I've learned something from that, or that's interesting, or I want to see how their story goes. That's all we do it for, mm. isn't it? That's what we do it for. Real life stuff. Yeah. How are you feeling so far? You've been on it about couple of hours. No, it's been longer than that. You aren't in five oh, hours. I'm in a good mood, actually. She is in a good mood. Yeah, but I'm she, actually, you I'm actually like... has had 
I've had a couple of drinks. Here. Of course you've had alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You look absolutely stunning. Do I? You always you say that to me. You always say that when you're trying to get it into one's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say a word. Right. Oh, that was awkward. Wasn't that it? weren't awkward. I just didn't know. I just didn't know. I was trying to keep it PG. Yeah, because it's normally you that coming out with the innuendo. Yeah, I got, I've, got none, I've got none. I've got none to. I've got none to add. I've got no innuendo to shut add. Shut you right up, didn't you? Yeah, you it? shut me up. You, shut you, you just, right you up. You messed me right up. Then I did have no no comment back. Yeah. I, th- I did you. Yeah, you did me. I did you? Did me, you crispy queen. Fuck off. Crispy queen drink. She said she had a she had a mouthful of this earlier, and she said it tastes very crispy. That was the crispy. Yeah, crispy. That was what I meant by crispy. What do you think of that Savion Blanc? It's not nice. You said Tesco's finest. That's stuck. You know when you get a horrible sour grape, when you're really looking forward to eating a grape. And it's supposed oh, to be like really sweet, one. isn't it? And we're not really massive and then it's wine a sour drinkers, one. to be honest. Like we're... it's a wine. Yeah, grape. we're not. We're not wine. You like a cocktail. I like a. I like a something with I coke. I do like wine. A vodka or one with coke. Do you yeah, remember when I used to drink like red fizzy, wine all the time? Yeah, we like do you remember? A, oh, red wine. Oh, oh we yeah. like we like a fizzy wine. Yes, I do we like, like bubbles. We like a bubbles. Yeah. Yes, we did have um, when we was in the jacuzzi in Wales, the hot tub, hot tub thing. Yeah, fix and nicks. We had, yeah, we? Fricks and Nicks yeah, again. Fricks, you like a Fricks, Fricks and Nicks? Fricks and Nicks, yeah. Fricks and Nicks, I'm sure we're pronouncing wrong. That was nice, weren't it? That hot tub was so <laughs> hot. Watch the videos. We got in, I got I got in the hot tub first and the woman had it. And he was going, woo! Boiling away. <laughs> I got in it and I was like, like you know, like a lobster's chucked into a pan to boil. I was screaming like that. That hot tub must have been on all day. It must have been boiling. Yeah, it was, like, it was you, a, um, fuckers, it was a fire, fire hot tub. So. <laughs> he was like, you were going, woo! So there was woo! no like, yeah, there was no like, um, <laughs> You Stop couldn't you couldn't it. cool it down or heat it up. It was literally one temperature. You were just on the like a bunny lobster. But you jumped in and you was fine. You you you. I was... put one leg in and I thought, no, oh, no, this is too hot for me. No, I had to push you to I it. I can't bear it. I had to push you in. But when we was in, in, it was so nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, it was so nice. Uh, how long did it actually take me? About half an hour to get into that. To get in, she, she slowly night. got in, like toe first, then up to ankle, yeah, then, it was all then right. up to kneecap, yeah. then up to thigh. Yeah. This is over an hour, but it was in it, and when we was in, because it was it must have been about eighty degrees. In that hot tub, but it was oh. just nice, wasn't it? Looking out along, so we had this. We was yeah. sitting in a hot tub like this. Nice say. cool breeze across your head. That, yeah. that, that, that yeah, was we had quite a cool handy, breeze. wasn't it? We got lucky with the weather on some of the days, and you could just looking out into the Welsh sort of valleys and the and the hills and the, mm. the grass landscape and the trees. Oh, beautiful. We're just we just sitting Wales, there looking at it, having a fricks and mm. and we was both completely naked as well. I've done yeah. we had that. We was completely yeah. naked in this hot tub in the middle of literally nowhere. Oh, it's amazing! Yeah, and then amazing we, then we clocked the fucking cameras, didn't we? Yeah, there was a ca- yeah. So this woman who who owns the place obviously wants cameras up to make sure no one smashes up or a thing burns down or anything. But yeah, I think we was we was probably probably there's some probably footage of us on camera. That's probably not 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 too pleasant for everyone to oh, watch, well. is it? <laughs> oh well. There would be some footage worth worth. worth. I wouldn't mind watching it. Oh fuck off, Adam! There's probably some good footage on that. <laughs> so tomorrow what we're going to do we're going to go just to a park tomorrow aren't we yeah we'll try to do something on it every day on our days off we're going especially to go, when we got Luca oh we're going to go David Castle probably weekend mm. we've got Luca tomorrow so we're, we're just going to go to little and when are we going to have a day in Saturday Saturday Kerry's going to do a roast I think an Easter oh, yeah. roast oh and roast. also it's coming soon or it's already up I don't know the order of these She's going to do a Easter cake. Yeah, we're going to decorate the Easter We're going to do that tomorrow, whenever the me videos Luke, come up. Luke, Kevin yeah. and Luca are going to do that. We took Luca to the farm, so it was a good day to farm, wasn't it? Oh, he loved right. the animals. Yeah, so that's, that's, about, yeah. that's about our week, isn't it? Off. So, I wonder how long it's going to take for these symptoms to, to do symptoms one. What symptoms do you feel now, then? What symptoms do I feel now? My body aches. But we've done a lot of walking. Aches. Some of that could be just to... Yeah, that was always like that. it was like that before anyway. Do you think? It's just like joint aches. Do you want some more um Savion Blanc? No, I don't. It's from South Africa. Oh, no, I don't like it. Can you do a South African accent? No, I can't actually. Can you? South Africa. It doesn't sound like South Africa. I'm from South Africa. No, Adam, it really doesn't sound like I'm it. South African. 
That does yeah, sound... Yeah, it sounds like it in your head, don't it? That sounds like I'm South African. No, you sound like you're a bit of a cunt, actually. <laughs> <laughs> do, I not, do I not like sound like I'm South African? No, Adam. This is a South like African fucking... accent. This don't sound South African. In my head, it sounds South African. Well, in, in my head, you sound in fucking annoying! <laughs> I can't do any accent. Can you do it? You, she can, I can, but She I gets won't. shy with it, but she can do every yeah, accent. Yeah, I can, but I won't. You can do every accent. No, I can't do every accent. She, she's really good at accents, no, but she's just shy with it. Yeah, because I don't make myself laugh, that's why. No, it makes me laugh, no. Oh. Right, on that note, should we... Uh, bugger off. Yeah, should we bugger off, do we? Because we're going to have a rampant session. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to that's find, what he thinks. I need to find the baby wipes. So disgusting! You're cutting that bit. Cause that's just <laughs> Why is that vile? That's vile. There's no, there's no, um, no beauty filter. Like I said, there's a beauty filter on some of the videos. They're soft now, so there won't be no more of that beauty filter. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> I need more than a beauty filter. I need a full facelift. I reckon if I had a facelift, you know, if I had that, thing, I'd look like Simon Cowell looks now. I'm seeing Simon Cowell. Oh, Simon Cowell looks terrible. That's if I, that's I'm how I would look. Him. Oh, Simon Cowell looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. You'll have to show me a picture. Yeah, you'll have to look at it. Right, we're off. I'm going to go and uh, jump in the shower. Or get a baby wipe. <laughs> you fuck off. <laughs> Say goodbye, Kerry. Goodbye. See you next time. I'll let you know I get on. Yes, we'll yeah. give good updates. Mm.